So uh, there are two solutions for uh, these two problems. I will not tell the details about the uh, fraud for India because it, it, it is not the main topic. Uh, so the, for the data availability problem, uh, we implement this uh, user activated form. Uh, as long as uh, you usually test block, in short, you will be in our technical paper. So what is the user activated for? Uh, so uh, in this diagram, uh, there are five blocks in here. So block one is finalized, and there are four blocks waiting for challenge period to pass by. Uh, but uh, I want to mention something in here. Uh, on, the, on the below in this slide, uh, there are two types of block in plasma game. Uh, so the first one is a request block, uh, which includes only the request transaction, uh, like uh, enter and exit. And the other one is called non-request block, which, ex which includes the ordinary, ordinary transaction, like uh, you know, uh, Bob sends 10 ether to Alex, like something. So non-request block is uh, what you exactly know. Uh, so there are two blocks. Uh, two types of block, request block, non request block, request block, and non request block. There are four blocks waiting for charge period. Uh, so uh, we, we assume that uh, in here uh, that the block three, which is non request block, is withheld by the operator. Then any user uh, can make a, a user activated fork in here. So this fork is based on the uh, should be based on this uh, finalized block, which is block one. And then uh, the uh, in user activity fork, uh, when user activity fork is submitted in, in the loop chain contract, then uh, the fork is uh, always considered to be a canonical chain. So uh, when the fork is submitted, then the operator should uh, do some uh, rebase procedure in support, uh, or which is uh, he or she uh, should keep mining uh, based on this new fork, not the old, old, old one. So yeah, that, that's the user active fork model, but uh, there are more details about that, but I won't tell the details in here. So uh, uh, I prepared the simple comparison uh, with the existing models based on plasma MVP or more viable plasma and with the plasma beam, our model. So when the data withholding happens, then uh, in existing models, uh, we resolve that by putting priority on exit transaction. So the the UTXO or transactions of the operator priority is could be lower than the uh, users. Uh, but in but in the plot maybe we any user can uh, make a fork if he detected the uh, the operator withholds the data. But you might notice that this model can definitely solve the data development problem, but it gives the users too much power. Yeah, power, power is really overwhelming. Uh, there are many attack vectors in here, but the most serious one is called infinite fork attack. Uh, it's simply denial of service. Those, because anyone can make fork, fork at any time, so he can make a fork to, to prevent the finalization of plasma blocks forever. So we thought that uh, we have we have to we have to uh, need setting up uh, somehow the cost mechanism for uh, this user activated fork, but uh, this is very hard to build because uh, as as I mentioned before, uh, no one can assure that the data withholding has actually occurred. So we change change our approach. Uh, if we cannot assure data withholding, then how about approaching in terms of uh, probability or likely or tendency? 
So, for example, um, uh, there are uh, there is a thirty percent probability uh, that that of a holding has actually opened. But uh, there is one question for more. But the what? How to how to calculate this probability? How to predict this that we told you? So we thought that uh, best material for calculating this uh, probability would be uh, in loop chain would be the number of requests for user active report. Uh, uh, more simply, uh, is uh, it's just the majority rules. So if many users agree with that user active for, then so be it. So we said we made a, a new type of access request for user active for. So this is called the access request for URB, in short, ERU. So there are two cost functions. The left one is cost function for submitting user active for, and the right one is Cost function for submitting access request for URB, uh, which is ELU. So you can see those uh, those graphs uh, uh, when the number of access requests for user activity for increase, the the cost would go down. So if many users agree with the user active for the cost uh, they they have to pay will go down. But you might you might think that is could be vulnerable, vulnerable at the severe attack. But it's not that vulnerable that you think, because uh, attacker should pay this huge total cost, which is comprised of uh, cost of user activity for, uh, plus cost of actual request for your user request, uh, user active for, times number of ELUs. Uh, and if, even if the attacker attacks uh, pay this cost, but he only can prevent finalization of blocks for a limited time. So I think the, the benefits for this attack is, uh, could be low than, lower than the cost. Uh, and also the operational plasma chain uh, can keep going under this attack because it is, it's not the matter of finalization. So operators can keep Mine. Uh, but there are some issues in here because the cost is always bad for users. So the first one is users with less than the cost uh, cannot exit if the operator withholds the data. It's a very serious problem in our model. And second one is it could be vulnerable when the deposit by users is lower than the cost. Uh, for example, in the early stage in plasma chain, the whole deposit amount uh, could be lower than the, the total cost needed to submit user activity for. So the operator should uh, uh, could uh, use this situation. So there is more research is needed for optimizing these cost mechanisms. Uh, finally, uh, uh, this is our conclusion. Uh, I believe that uh, the perfect data availability solution is very hard to build. Uh, and I think there is always trade-off in uh, the, is this, solution, this solution. So I think we must choose what to give up or what to choose, what is more important. So this is quick comparison uh, with the existing exit game. So in the existing exit game, you know, the good thing in here is Users can access safely without cost. It's very good. Uh, he 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 can only uh, he only need transaction fee in Ethereum. But the bad thing is, it could be dangerous uh, when users uh, send a transaction after the data withdrawal uh, because the priority matters. But it's uh, it's it's not that in plasma cache model. Uh, anyway, uh, in user active bulk model. Uh, the good thing is that you don't need to worry about sending transaction after data with hub. But the bad thing is, uh, it's really bad. Yes, it's really bad. Uh, users should pay some additional transaction cost, uh, not the transaction cost, additional cost to exit. So it's almost, uh, it could be almost impossible to exit 
if uh, you are the only one user or, or only one axiom. But the extra good thing in here is we can make plasma as exactly the same with Ethereum with general computation and general states. So thank you for listening. Okay. No. Uh, whenever you talk about having to pay for uh, 